Hello friends, welcome to the Web Boostings YouTube channels or you can say the Infologs YouTube channel. Okay, let me tell you first uh, what this channel offers you. This channel has vast range of programming language tutorials. Okay, I like to show you the example. So uh, just go to the youtube.com or uh, for the searching you can just put the info logs word okay so we are just putting the info logs okay this channel this one is okay or we can see uh, youtube.com slash web boostings right so um, as soon as you uh, see this we have a lot of different courses or tutorials available whether it's a uh, iOS mobile applications Android application uh, or you want to learn the newest uh, language from uh, Apple that is Swift objective C and uh, the cross-platform technology that is uh, phone gap right Android applications even the way web technologies the C sharp is very popular and the traditional ASP.NET, um, how we can manage the client side technologies relating, uh, related to jQuery, JavaScripts, right? And the custom, how we can manage the custom grids. Okay, all of the tutorials you can find out here for the free without any charges. And also, uh, our team will uh, help you uh, regarding to your queries if you posted on. Uh, on the any videos as a comment so I would like to uh, tell you that if you have any query related to the programming just put out put it out to the uh, into, into the comment section or you can send an email to us uh, on info at infologs.in or you can say that's a gmail id as well webboostings at gmail.com okay now uh, let's uh, visit the websites that we are we have uh, launched let me show you in starting oops sorry I would okay this one is in starting okay so uh, we have uh, redesigned this website so uh, our visitors can easily get whatever they want okay whether it's an online classes whether it's online support whether it's a new tutorial series or the articles okay here you can see the AngularJS, ios objective c swift php and dot net okay and uh, the most important that i would like to show you that we have that is a new article series okay so currently we have an android ios and asp.net core this is the latest one we have been we have launched on this website so here you'll see the lots of uh, different sections videos whatever you see on the YouTube uh, by the infologs channel will see uh, that in on infologs.in so it will help you guys to uh, find accurate uh, videos uh, related to the pro any programming language so now coming to the point so this in this video tutorials we are going to start a fresh series on ASP.NET. I hope you are uh, exciting about it because this is the ASP.NET core uh, which is um, an open source from the Microsoft and uh, currently it is on a high buzz node right so what we are covering in this video series so let me open up this ASP.NET section so here you will see all the articles for the beginner purpose or we can see the for the starting purpose uh, we have already published the 21 articles related to the ASP.NET core right so in this video series we are going to see one by one practically uh, in this series right so let's start with the fresh ASP.NET core so in this video tutorial we are going to see the introduction of ASP.NET Core. What is ASP.NET Core? Uh, what are the benefits of ASP.NET Core? And uh, how ASP.NET Core is uh, uh, good or we can say compare with the our traditional ASP.NET. Right? 
so here uh, we have listed some basic uh, architectures of it and uh, the uh, how what what are the different points and uh, benefits okay so let's uh, talk about uh, the so before starting okay so here uh, when we have published this article that that time there was i think uh, sp.net uh, 2.0 or something 2.2 now in the market uh, it's a uh, uh, sp.net uh, 3.21 okay uh, this was just launched in the november or oh, sorry in the first week of december okay so let's talk about uh, what are the uh, points in the important points in asp.net core that we can begin with okay so as we have listed here so we can build your web application service services iot applications and mobile backends okay this is the most important thing nowadays mobile backends right so user can favorite develop uh, favorite development tools on windows mac os and linux as you guys I hope you guys have known that uh, now is uh, Visual Studio, the world famous code editor is now available on Mac OS Windows as well. So you can get uh, the benefits of it, right? Deploy on the cloud uh, or on premises um, uh, applications, right? You can also deploy it on an Azure server or you can say on your uh, uh, in-house uh, machines okay run on dotnet core and dotnet framework okay this is the most important okay all this point how these are working we are going to see practically in this video series so i hope you have to uh, subscribe this channel so you can get uh, each and every video uh, just right after the publishing so you can uh, you should take it off it okay yeah the next is architecture what is the architecture of uh, this sp.net core okay so if you are uh, familiar with the dotnet framework okay so there is dotnet uh, like uh, core compilers of a different different languages let's say we have a c sharp we have f sharp we have vb.net okay so each and every um, compilers of each and every uh, languages are there that is the common infrastructures right on the uh, on the top of that we have a base library okay and now in the base library we have a section called dotnet standard library okay now what is dotnet standard library or we can say it's a, a bunch of code which uh, which is uh, uh, on top of uh, the framework dotnet framework dotnet core and xamarin's are written okay so we can say for these three upper sections uh, the dotnet standard is a base class just like we are talking about the oops that way okay so let's say i am creating a library in the dotnet standard so that can be used in dotnet framework application and dotnet core application or as in xamarin application too okay that is the benefits of uh, creating a library in the dotnet standard okay okay now as you guys have knows about the dotnet framework we have a asp.net traditional windows forms and wpf and for the uh, .NET core we have a asp.net core as this image is a little bit uh, older so i would like to include uh, the windows form section in .NET core okay so there are uh, the microsoft is porting uh, the windows form into the .NET core as well okay now here the confusion creates what confusion let's say uh, in the standard terms uh, if i say the dotnet core that means the cross platform okay so the application can run on windows can run on mac os can run on linux okay but okay if we are talking about the windows form then windows form will run only on windows machine okay so they are just porting all these libraries related to the windows forms into the dotnet core and actually they have started in uh, 3.0 but um, according to their blogs they have uh, uh, shifted that uh, um, porting dates into the future so they are uh, saying uh, 
uh, till 2020 they can include all the uh, features uh, which is available in uh, .NET Framework 4.8 into the .NET Core and uh, the .NET Core 5 will be in the market now current is 3.1 and in the 2020 end of the 2020 uh, there will be the .NET Core or .NET 5 we can say so this way uh, so end of the day we have just only .NET .NET 5.0 which can be used for uh, ASP.NET cross-platform ASP.NET uh, multi-targeted application which can run on different different platforms and uh, the windows forms uh, the same uh, which is already included in framework that is that will be put into the .NET code okay and the same way uh, if we want to create an Android and uh, iOS application as the Xamarin is available okay now let's come into the benefits okay so there are lots of benefits of here because number one that is a cross platform okay cross platform that means you can run your application on windows mac os linux okay that is the important one okay now uh, the story for the building web apis uis and web apis the the whole mvc platform is uh, derived in the dotnet uh, core with the uh, modular design okay so what is modular what kind of these words okay just uh, keep in mind these words for the next video tutorials because on the this video in these videos oh, sorry on these uh, words we are going to uh, learn the new uh, things uh, in the ASP.NET core right so we have uh, architect 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 and uh, testability which is going to be very easy for the testing purposes uh, Razor pages makes coding page, page focused scenario easier and more productive okay there are some browser tools and c sharp browser along with the uh, javascript so you can uh, share the server side and client side code uh, as everyone knows about the uh, Razor syntax right so we can put your code into the html section directly so it's open open source I'm really really sorry guys yeah then the integration modern and the client side frameworks and deployment workflows okay we can include your angular js react js okay built in predefined templates out there for the ASP.NET core and support and hosting remote procedure calls servicing and GS grpc cloud ready environment as I talked about like Azure okay this is uh, built-in uh, integration you just say I want to publish uh, my ASP.NET core on Azure yeah there is a facility okay built-in dependency injection this is the most 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 important thing in uh, ASP.NET core right the lightweight and high performance and modular HTTP request pipeline so in earlier if I talk on this point in the earlier uh, or we can say the in ASP.NET there was a whole life cycle of a page uh, which starts from the initializing to unload on the server okay but now uh, here we have a full control uh, over the http request pipeline okay so we can configure how the request should be processed on each step okay I'm, i'll show you how uh, we can do that in the practical way so it will be uh, very good fun for you guys okay yeah next is it can be hosting on below servers okay if you talk about the earlier there was only IIS now see the list okay Kestrel it's an internal server IIS HTTP Nginx Apache and docker okay we have a side-by-side -side versioning that is also possible and uh, the tooling that simplifies the modern web development okay we have a Visual Studio Core Visual Studio okay or if you like any other development tool you can also use that okay so this is all about uh, the overview or we can say the introduction of uh, ASP.NET Core okay and uh, if you want to learn uh, all the ASP.NET Core related things or you want to develop your own application in the ASP.NET Core then I request you to just subscribe this channel so you'll get a uh, notification of each video be published on this infologs channel
okay so if you have any queries you can put it on the comment section so it will be help us uh, to provide you the feedback as soon as possible yeah uh, till then see you in the next video thank you for watching bye